Okay, you go for it. Bow tie makes sense. Bill Nye wears bow ties. We all know bow ties are cool. I rest my kids. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Bill Nye is the probably the most popular popularizer of science that there is in recent years, at least in our lifetimes. Carl Sagan was big, but people know Bill Nye more than they know him. They tend to know Tyson more, but he hasn't done as many shows as Bill Nye. He got his start on a local show called Almost Live, where they were doing a skit, and he corrected someone on their pronunciation of Gigawatt, and the line followed was, what are you, Bill Nye the science guy? And thus the name was born. <laughs> <laughs> he worked for several years on his Bill Nye the Science Guy project, doing a hundred episodes on a hundred different topics. It was shot low budget, I think they only had $6,000 and a warehouse to shoot the first few episodes before they finally sold it to PBS. That's what you can do if you love science, you just get a camera, go to a warehouse, shoot stuff. From 2005 to 2010, he was the vice president of the Planetary Society, the people who voted Pluto wasn't a planet. In, 2000, in September 2010, when the first yeah. Executive stepped down. Bill and I became the second executive of the Planetary Society and is now running it. And he still thinks Pluto is not a planet. <laughs> so Bill Nye he has. Pluto. He worked on several parts that Boeing use in the 747. Still, he worked on the Mars dial, a small sundial used for color calibration and timing, on the Spirit and Opportunity rovers. I don't remember if they're still going or not, but they were on there. He has. Patents for ballet point shoes <laughs> and using a bag filled with water as a magnifying glass to teach kids about sun and sunlight. And Bill Nye is awesome and he wears bow ties and bow ties are cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Stop, stop. Episode of Stargate Atlantis. <laughs> he was also on Dancing with the Stars. Oh, no, 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 Audience can participate. You're done. All right. Let's Ooh, the yeah. All right. You have two minutes to defend and present La Placha. <laughs> oh, Pierre yeah. Simon Laplace? Yes. Tell me when to go. All right, and go. All right, everybody. Laplace is really awesome because he made our lives easy. So Newton came along and he came up with this like cool calculus and he came up with gravity and he tried to just like describe the solar system and how it worked. Problem was no one knew how to use calculus except for Newton. So what happened was a couple years later, Euler comes along, makes calculus a little bit easier, and then Laplace like takes all that differential calculus and uses it to describe the solar system and astronomy in a way that Newton could never even have like dreamed of. So like, I don't know, Laplace was basically like a mathematician and he used mathemat mathematics to solve problems for the solar system. So like everyone was really interested in whether or not the solar system was stable. So like I said, he did differential calculus. So he discovered Laplace's equation that says uh, that, says that the potential in a mass-free region of space, the gravitational potential satisfies this equation. Wow, so this is a really important differential equation. This is what we do in 542. How else do we know that Laplace makes our lives easy? Wow, he came up with the Laplace transform, which allows us to transform differential equations if we have boundary conditions and solve them. So, if, I don't know, he might have used that to solve some of his solar system problems. But, you know, if you go to speed school, that's like half of what they do. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so we got <laughs> gravitational potential, we got differential equations. Laplace also published a book on probability. He was the first one to find the integral of the Gaussian and publish a result on it. Hey, we do this in quantum. Uh -huh. That's a lot, <laughs> right? Uh, what else did he do? Uh, that's strictly speaking incorrect. Uh, <laughs> that is the integral from negative infinity to positive infinity. You have to yeah. divide by two. Yeah, okay. you dropped your two. So, all right. <laughs> we'll talk about that again. <laughs> uh, so he did that. What else did he do? Uh, so he got into politics because he was French, and French people did that around the Enlightenment time because they were smart, I guess. So he uh, worked under Napoleon. He gave, you know, uh, attributed everything to him. System of international units, metric system. Yeah, Laplace. <laughs>